pressurized mating adapter for docking, now eight feet away from the space station. Discovery's docking mechanism being precisely aligned by Commander Steve Lindsay, now seven feet away from the space station. Rendezvous, rendezvous officer reports at five feet with still a good closure rate for discovery. Three feet. One foot. Contact confirmed. Houston and Alpha Discovery capture confirmed. And Spatial Discovery crew confirming capture of the preliminary latches. Uh, this is in free drift. Discovery Houston, station free drift is confirmed. Discovery copies. The International Space Station in a free drift attitude as well as the space shuttle steering jets being deactivated to reduce the forces acting at the docking interfaces. With a view inside the International Space Station, Space Shuttle Discovery now docked at the pressurized mating adapter number two, just outside the hatch seen in this view. Docking uh, confirmed on time, on schedule at 9.52 a.m. Central Time as the two spacecraft were orbiting out over the open South Pacific Ocean, west of Chile, south of the Pitcairn Island, about 220 statute miles above the Earth. Discovery Houston, go ahead. Yeah, we're looking at step three. Uh, we don't see any relative motion uh, on your go. We'll move ahead with the actions on step three. Discovery Houston, we're ready for step three on the docking sequence cue card. Okay, and what? Once a shock absorber-like springs in the docking mechanism stamps it, dampen any relative motion between the shuttle and the station, the shuttle crew will secure the docking mechanism by sending commands for Discovery's docking ring to retract and to close a final set of latches between the two vehicles. Discovery Houston for APDS, we're ready for step four on the docking sequence cue card. Yeah, Houston, we just see the second uh, base number flicking between 71 and 72. 
two just now.